Yo. How's it going? Welcome I up. Just, I woke up this morning feeling like the greatest alive. What can I say? <laughs> Where are you up to, huh? <laughs> Is that what, that's what Francois said, right? Is that what he said? He kept saying, I'm the greatest alive. He's the best to ever do it. <sighs> Did you not get my reference? No, I didn't. <laughs> you really thought I just woke up feeling like the greatest alive? <laughs> mm. Well, that was a crazy episode. That was a really good episode, I thought. Yeah, oh my gosh. There was so much to go over. It was very character-driven on the Purple Tribe, but on the Yellow Tribe, the strategy was Apple Horse. Yeah, I didn't realize how many players Citrine has. Like, I feel like nobody's slacking. Like, everyone has a plan that they want to happen, and they're, like, trying to make it happen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, so going into this episode, how are you doing today, Sarah, first off? Oh, I'm doing pretty well, you know. Yeah, chilling. Well, yeah, did you day. get significant? Is this is how is this how you expected? I guess after last episode, the plot threads to continue. Well, I felt like there was a lot going on in this episode, and it wasn't clear who was going to get voted out. Like yeah. I, if I didn't know who was going to get voted out before, I would have no clue. I was on the edge of my seat. It was crazy. I, like I thought it was kind of a misdirection. Like, I yeah. thought it was, like, it was mainly between, you know, Olivia and Zoe until it wasn't at the very end. Mm hmm yeah. Like, it almost felt like a last-second switch. Yeah. So, and I almost, I also do feel like Nyla didn't get that much screen time. So, I'm, I'm, like, excited to talk to her and kind of see, like, what she was doing during that mm -hmm. week. Yeah. Our, uh... I'm surprised. Did any of the, uh, the other main focus of this episode was the idol shenanigans. Did oh, you yeah. find that compelling? <laughs> I thought it was so funny that Emma got a fake clue that led her to a. Oh, I forgot. Oh, my God. That was freaking hilarious because if she had stopped to think for a second, like it was like on a post it note. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Does Ashley work here? <laughs> I need Ashley. I ordered the chicken part. I'm dead. <laughs> They're like, is she blonde? I would have loved footage of her actually sitting there eating that chicken parm. Imagine you're just sitting down at the table and your waiter comes up like, what'd you like to order? My name's Brett. And you're like, I need the, the chicken parm. Did you hear me? The, I need the chicken parm from like, Ashley. Like she's not like, was okay. And well, what do you want next? <laughs> no, it's so funny because, like, the post to note with the handwriting, like, especially was that before she got the advantage from the box, or was that after? No, the advantage from the box was at the premiere up. So, okay, that's what I thought. So, she, she should know that it wouldn't be written on a post it note, <laughs> <laughs> it definitely hit her after. <laughs> yeah. That's what do you so think about funny. um the uh when i guess well first off we don't know who wrote the post-it note but her lie to yeah, we do. Me, it was zoe it she said did she say yeah yeah she said she left a bunch of fake ones and then she was trying to find it and then she couldn't find it oh that's beautiful oh yeah. okay okay that makes sense i thought it was hilarious that brayden found the idol out of nowhere i didn't expect our little king brayden to be the idol holder yeah I, it was, I just think he's so goofy. Like I, I, he's like one of my favorite ones. Is there one idol for both tribes, or mm, is they, they have two they separate have clues, clues that led them to two parts of Kate Sessions? I, I would think there was there'd be two idols. Two idols. Yeah. Oh god, that makes sense. But I mean, wait. So he did not tell the his alliance that he found it. He just simply told them. The clue of where it potentially could be. Yeah, I don't think we saw him telling anyone yet. Yeah. I'm not sure if he will. Sweet. Where do you think the power lies on the Purple Tribe? It seems like Francois is trying to pull all the strings, but people are catching on to it pretty quickly. Like Mariah. Oh my God. When you was talking to Mariah, oh, was like, he's like, yo, I'm not going to tell you everything that's going on, but just know, you just got to trust me. I know it sounds unlikely that like, and like not in your best interest, but you just gotta trust me and that we will. Yeah, she's literally it. like she's like literally like who are your numbers? And he's like, I can't tell. I, I can't say right now. <laughs> like, no, you can't people aren't gonna trust you if you don't give up information. He like 
another thing that hurt my soul was him talking about like their alliance and like about Mariah in third person to the camera while she's like sitting right there. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I feel like that tribe is a little more like dysfunctional. And there, I don't feel as though there's like as many voting blocks. Mm -mm. I feel like it's way more like people can be swayed. Oh, and I just wanted to point out, I love that challenge and the way it was shot. Like the <sighs> drone shots looked so professional. Just the whole backdrop of the beach. It looked so good. Like it almost looked like a real survivor challenge, like the way it was shot. I, when he first pitched, like, in the episode, hey, this is going to be the challenge, it's going to be flag football and stuff, like, oh, you have to jump in the wave to, like, get the point. I was very confused about, like, what the structure would, what this was going to look like, how it would be able to keep track. Um, but once the challenge actually got going, it was very easy to follow along. I yeah. love the amount of footage we had from it. It was very beautiful. We got these overhead shots cut with, like, you know, up close visuals so we could see exactly what was going on. It was very clear, like, yeah, if was. somebody was playing a little rough, if somebody was hiding their flags, if points weren't made when they were supposed to, why something didn't work. It was so well caught, and I'm really impressed with Ronan's uh, diligence in bringing that challenge together. Yeah, because it's really hard to film when, when there's that many people and that much movement. And, like, yeah. not that many producers at the time, I feel like. So I'm really impressed with that. It seemed like Moose was really pulling his way in that challenge. And I liked how there was a second part. Like, it wasn't just the flag football. You also had to, like, accurately toss it into the box. What was <laughs> Satrine's strategy there? No it's idea. like, this well, is for so immunity. You have so many shots. You can just, like, toss, you know, like... Yeah, so th that's why I was confused because I thought the person who made the, the point was the person who had to toss. But then I realized yeah. they were just like switching off. And they were all really, I would have underhanded it personally. I think underhand with how close it was, was the move. Yeah, exactly. I, it wasn't that far of a distance. And <laughs> even if the first person just sucks, like give them a couple more chances. To yeah. Play, or at least ask like your tribe hey who's the best at this so, i don't know, I feel like moose they should just have moose throw in i feel like he could have made it yeah exactly that was weird i don't know Satrine really shot themselves in the foot there yeah yeah well any other final highlights or things we should definitely cover before this before oh. we start on with our guest there was one confessional of francois lane on this dog i don't know if it was his dog and the dog was so cute and like sleeping. Did you yeah. did you catch that? It was so cute. Uh, I was like, I, <laughs> I, it was very adorable. Great. Our seems like the next guest for Survivor San Diego Rising Tides Edit interviews is here. The 16th placer, uh, the legendary leader. Uh Nyla, I'm so happy to have you today. Hey guys. Hey. Hello. How oh are you God. doing? I'm good. Uh, my dad totaled his car, so we were just doing some research this morning Shit. on what we're gonna do next. <laughs> oh my God, that sucks. It sucks. He has a nice ass car, so oh. yeah. Damn, I'm it's sorry. okay. Well, are you, you good with cars? I didn't know that um, about you. I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm good with cars, but I know I know a little something. I know a little something, but not good <laughs> with cars. How did you like the episode? It was good. I was. Um, I mean, it wasn't wasn't my favorite episode, obviously. <laughs> but it was. It was um, Ronan has a. He, you guys are very talented with the editing. It really. It feels like so like such a sincere TV show. Mm -hmm. and I'm a fan for sure. Yeah, we were just talking about how the challenge shots were insane. Yeah, they were good. Also, how do I, how do you want me to rotate my camera? Like, what's the best way? I'd have it horizontal so we can, like, see your face and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes. horizontal looks good. Yeah. I'm trying to, like, find a place to, like, set it up. I'm just going to... You're in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that's good. Good? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Sweet. Um. <laughs> um, so I guess, like... 
going back to even like the first episode, what made you want to step up to be the leader of the tribe? Um, I just like, I just, nobody else was saying anything. And like, I feel like when I was just, when I was like watching the episode, it kind of seemed like I just jumped into it. And that's just not really what happened because nobody mm-hmm. wanted to do it. Like, and I was just like tired of just standing in a circle. So I was like, I'll just, I'll do it. Does anyone else want to do it? Because you guys are not saying anything. And I, to be honest, like, I have never seen a single season of Survivor. Like, I know how the game worked and I've seen like episodes here and there. So I didn't know that it was going to put a huge target on my back at the time. Um, So I would, but I was like, whatever, I'll just do it. It sounded like fun or something. (laughs) <laughs> I was like, okay, whatever, like, me, sure, I'll go. Like, I, I really thought I was, like, taking one for the team by doing that. Right. I, you know, I was just, like, fucking myself for the game. Like, I was not, un- I did not know that. And, like, I feel like every time I went and, like, did my little sidebar with Francois, like, there was a, a very obvious better choice f- for, like, the person I gave immunity to. But, uh, like, my, the people I was, like, a al- lot allied with didn't tell me. Like, when I gave Hayden um, the, and it, when I gave Hayden the immunity and, like, he was, like, on our side, like, I had no idea. Like, Wilby was going around and, like, talking to Olivia and Hayden and we, and I was apparently in that alliance too, but I literally didn't know, you know, because the only person I was really talking to was Wilby. And, she didn't um, tell Olivia. you that you potentially had some votes behind you, so you shouldn't take out, like, one of your votes from that tribal council? I had no idea that... I it was such... I had no idea! I was like, what? Like, I was like, Wilby, if Hayden was with us, why would you... Why wouldn't you tell me in the chance that we have to give someone immunity, which is a 50-50 chance that we lose, right? Like, why wouldn't you tell me, hey, don't choose Hayden if we're, yeah. if like, we're on the same, I'm not saying it was shady, but I'm like, these people that have watched so much Survivor and know that I'm stupid and I know that I have no <laughs> idea what's going on, why wouldn't you tell me what to do? <laughs> it's, it's like, for people who were, like, allied with me at the time, knowing that I'm a dumbass player and not telling me, like, you have, we can use you and you can help us and we can, like, have an advantage because Nyla will probably do whatever we say because I will. Um, to not give someone immunity or to give someone immunity that could be helpful. I'm like, first I gave it to Wilby. Why the fuck would I do that? <laughs> then I give it to Hayden. Why? I didn't know he was in an alliance with us. So <laughs> I was like, why? The f- I fucked myself. I shot myself in the foot, and I had no idea. So wait, so you were only talking to Wilby pretty much throughout the weeks? Yeah, Olivia was the one who reached out to me um, when there was like clips of me and Olivia talking, and she reached out to me, and she she had told me. Um, so much and that she really wanted to work with me and it was so funny because there was one clip that was where Olivia was like I don't think Nyla understands the logistics of the game at all (laughs) and I was like she's absolutely right I didn't understand them at all when we got there and they were like saying things about like the captain and stuff and how me and Francois were the captains and then we get to pick someone to have immunity I didn't even know what an idol was when people started Mm. saying the word idol I was like what the fuck is that literally so I was just like I'm like and will we knew I was I had no idea she knew she knew more than anyone and she yeah she didn't tell me like hey if we if we lose don't give it to Hayden because hey we have Hayden's vote and then I don't know it was whatever it ended up not helping her game either to get me out because I would have been so blindly loyal to her which I and I was because I was like just like I was like hold my hand get me through this right oh yeah no it sounds like she definitely could have used you better she totally could have I was like I was so um I was so um open to being manipulated you know what I mean in (laughs) in a good way yeah it seems like uh, a lot of like you mentioned like you and Emma already having a close relationship going into the game seems like that was another contributing factor that put that highlighted you as a potential target getting into the season as it progressed what was your relationship like with like those La Jolla High kids you Francois Sky and Emma and did y'all have like plans on working together were you going to work with them more than anybody else what was your thoughts um like I said no thoughts I had no (laughs) idea that that was going to be helpful I was just like oh look all my buddies are here because because Ronan didn't tell us that like um like who was exactly going to be on the season and like he was like very adamant about like hey don't talk about it too much like he didn't tell us who was going to be there so when we got there 
um I was like oh my god Magnuson Sky will be who else <laughs> Francois I was like oh cool like all my friends are here I was like stoked about that I was like we get to hang out all the time because we would just like party um together and like I've been like they've been in my pretty immediate friend group I guess for like a long time um not like super close like I would tell them like my business friends but like mm -hmm. we we know each other and like we have like a lot of mutual friends like we're like a mu maybe the mutual friend is someone who I would tell all my business to so it was like I would yeah. see I would see them around a lot and I was like I wasn't like worried or scared or nervous about seeing them I was like oh this is gonna be fun <laughs> little did I know <laughs> I literally had no idea I knew it was a competition and everything but I was like I thought it was gonna be some like bullshit honestly but okay. it wasn't. <laughs> so yeah oh my god that's funny um actually I was gonna ask something but I forgot oh cool oh. uh when it came to the challenge did nobody step up to throw the ball or like say I'm good at this like oh, why yeah, did nobody take the strategy for that? Like, a, like a single turn and then just pass the ball to the next person I don't seem like that lost you the challenge y'all had such a big lead yeah we did we did and I don't even think I went one time to throw it I was like I don't think I'm the person for this um I don't I don't really remember honestly it's been some time now but like I feel like I feel like we were like, oh, there's six of us, or it was there was like six or seven of us, and we get six tries, so we might as well all just go go once or something. I don't think I went. I don't remember like trying, but yeah, it was just we didn't have a strategy. We should have probably copied them, but they had like a fucking star basketball player on their team, and Ronan was like, oh, <laughs> you guys, a strategy sucked. I'm like, do you look at us? And then look at him. We don't have a chance anyways, regardless of if we had like the most athletic or most like, I guess, inclined person to do it every every single time. Like, okay, maybe that would have helped a little bit. But look at Shane and then look at us. We didn't yeah. the boys on our side were not basketball players. So not to say that the girls couldn't do it, but like the girls can do it. So, <laughs> you know, that's, like, yeah. that's just the reality. So y'all thought you had Grant on your side, like I think, going I think, into that? And I assume what I that's saw, why they yeah. went for you instead of Olivia there was because that, like, you would be able to neutralize any sort of opposition to your alliance. Yes, yes. And I think, yes. And Wilby was thinking everything through and she's brilliant and she's so smart. And I'm just like, this was the most obvious one. Say, yeah. protect me for your game, for your game, not even for mine. Don't even worry about me. I'm just going to do what you, whatever you tell me. And she knew that. I was not rebellious. I was not like, no, I'm going to do my own thing because I think I'm right. I totally had no idea what was going on. I thought I did at some points. And I was I thought it was about who was the strongest and who's the weakest in the mm. challenges. I'm like, because the group needs to win the challenges. I was not playing the social game at all. Every time, I think even Francois like reached out to me and like tried to get me to do like a side conversation with him. And he was like, all right, let's talk about merge. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> sounds good. He's like, when we get to merge, let's work together. I'm like, bet, sounds good. I'm like, yeah, cause we'll win all the challenges or something like that. Cause I'm pretty <laughs> athletic and I'm competitive. And like, I really like the challenges. That's kind of what I thought was the whole game was like winning yeah. the challenges. So I was very like team oriented. I was like, don't communicate with the other team. We have to be loyal to each other. And we have to be a unit and then when mm. the voting started to happen I was like oh well this is getting very shady and <laughs> very snaky and like they, like just I was like whoa this is getting like this is this is a very social game and I hadn't I was not thinking that I was like oh we just have to get rid of the person who didn't perform in the chat right. if you were to come back what would you change about your game uh on a new com new slate um i think i would still try to be like authentically me i don't think i could like play a character because that's so confusing and once you start lying you have to keep track of your lies and like once you start trying to manipulate people you have to like remember all the things you manipulated them for and i think like i just don't have the capacity for that so i would probably still try to be myself um and like still be like because i have like a strong personality and i can and i've been told that i can be intimidating and stuff so i think i'm gonna try to I would try to play on being intimidating to like my advantage or like try to figure out how I could. Um, and then maybe be like a little friendlier and be more open to like being friends with other people and like being more susceptible to talking and spending time outside of the challenges. Cause I, I genuinely didn't think, I didn't know how important it was to do the behind the scenes talking yeah. and strategizing and stuff like that. So I think I would try to, 
be a lot more social, be a lot more like, hey, let's talk even and maybe even talk to the other team and mm. like set myself up for a good shot at merge. Yeah. Um, and definitely just try to like go into a game with like stronger ties, like after the first day, like really talk to everyone and try to get a gauge of like, I guess, use my intuition to see who I can really trust. Um, and then, yeah, I think I would just be a lot less stupid. I definitely watched Survivor before I would go in. Um, and then maybe like just like follow or like take notes of whatever the winner does the whole time, I guess. Like I'm just I, I, I have to think that I wouldn't be as naive as I was last time. And then listen and then like take take people's advice and like find the people that are going to be loyal to me and then just like let them let them tell me what to do <laughs> and tell them <laughs> tell them that I want to be told what to do because yeah. that's kind of yeah, I, I'm not great at, um, I guess producing outcomes through other people because it just feels so wrong mm -hmm. um to like use someone else to get to where you want to be like morally but that's like what the whole game is so i guess i would have to be more comfortable with doing that um for the sake of the game because i think everyone that's playing and doing survivor like probably doesn't feel good about it but they know that that's what they have to do to win so if, right. i think since we're all on the same page going into there like that should make me more comfortable um doing it as well so yeah i guess like watch more survivor um find people from the beginning and be a lot more social do have a lot more conversations because in that whole episode i feel like i i didn't get any screen time because i yeah you know, i noticed that i literally and i was like i was like that makes sense but i mean i spent i had a lot of conversations with emma like that for that idol hunting like we spent like three hours like looking for the idol together and like that just like wasn't mentioned and mm. I think I mean that's fine because I ended up getting voted out so who fucking cares that if I look for the idol but it just seemed like <laughs> it seemed like I like really wasn't interested in the game and like I think like of everybody I probably was like the least involved but I was still like I was still part of it I was still like yeah. I was just I was literally just blindly listening to Emma which I feel like was a little bit more I wish was a little more represented in the episode yeah. just to speak to how like because I was very blindsided I had no idea it was even a possibility that I was going to get voted out and I wanted to I wanted to show that Emma could have told me like why did you pick Hayden you screwed us Oh did, did, did she tell you about oh my god <laughs> okay okay hold on <laughs> <laughs> okay continue <laughs> sorry did she tell you about uh cheesecake factory and ash asking for ashley ordering the chicken parm <laughs> that was so no she didn't tell me that she didn't tell me she found that that was so funny <laughs> it made her look so dumb and i mean, it's like that's, she's just like the person I was closest to throughout the whole like thing. So I was like, girl, you could have you could have helped you a lot more using me. But yeah, I had no idea. I had literally I didn't know she found the fake clue. I didn't know she made a fake one. I think I don't remember if I know, actually. I don't remember her telling me. I and but I remember her telling me she has an idol. She mm. so she did tell me she has a real one. She didn't tell me about a fake one. Um and I don't know I don't rem I think she told me about Hayden's nullifier also. Oh. So I'm like, did you oh. have a relationship with Grant or not at all either? I talked to Grant and then no, no they didn't show that either. And I knew he didn't like me and I knew I didn't like him either. I didn't <laughs> like how it just got pushed that i that grant didn't like me because i didn't like him either and i would have loved for that to be in the episode because i feel like i made my sentiments towards him very clear I didn't what, like was, him what was yeah, what was like like yeah. what was the abrasion what was the beef i don't know he's just kind of like he's he seemed to like be a little patronizing and like in the nice guy way where he like acts like he's a lot like better and smarter than you and like i was like i am so uh, apprehensive towards men like that um and i picked that up from him so quickly and I could tell like during the team captain stuff, he was like, oh, you want to do it? Like kind of thing. I was like, we've been standing here for 20 minutes. If you want to do it, do it. Like, you know, yeah. I'm, I, like I said, I have a strong personality type and I'm, if you're not stepping up and if you're not going to challenge me, then I'm just going to do what I need to do. Yeah. So um, yeah, I, I thought he was, I thought he was condescending a little bit. He probably thought that about me too, which is why we bumped heads. Mm -hmm. But um, excuse me, just <laughs> five, 10 minutes. <laughs> It'll be fine. Okay, fine. Five minutes. Is that juicy? Yeah, do you want to see? Juicy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring juicy on. Juicy's an icon. Oh, juicy. 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 Hello. Hi, juicy. <laughs> juicy, look. Juicy, look. 
Oh. <laughs> okay, go. Okay, I'll be up in five minutes. Oh, yeah, I guess I it's like. Oh yeah, I was just gonna say, was there anything else besides the stuff you talked about that like wasn't shown of your game that you want to talk about? Um, I think just my conversation. I and I talked to Moose and I talked to Grant, mm -hmm. and they both seemed to be they both were like tricking me into thinking that we were gonna vote with zoe and because i thought that this was like a team decision like everyone's gonna vote on one person uh, not that like half the group votes this way and half the group votes this way because like the, the first round was what like affirmed that to me because we all right. voted for reagan and two people didn't i was like oh two people are snakes or something because no <laughs> one told me that they voted for themselves to make it feel less bad right. for her so then the second time i was like oh there's gonna be six votes against zoe and then one vote that zoe picks like it's who's who she thought wanted to be out right. i didn't even like i didn't even consider that they could have had like a side alliance or something like that so i feel like um not not to say like please show how stupid i was but i think like <laughs> that just kind of like for me that's what i was thinking and when i was talking to grant and moose it seemed like they were going to vote for zoe too so i was like oh we're fine like we're going into this and like everything will be okay because i was i was most comfortable with olivia and emma and then because of olivia and how much she told me that hayden is loyal to a fault i was really comfortable with hayden too mm -hmm. and then i felt so dumb for um giving him immunity so mm -hmm. yeah i guess like just um that's that's pretty much my my takeaway from that episode i was like damn i look so fucking stupid i really <laughs> had no idea what was going on i wish i had studied i guess before the test you know what i mean because yeah. that would have that just really screwed me over how and much survivor have you seen now how much what survivor? survivor have you seen now still pretty much nothing oh okay <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I was like really into it. I I was so like discouraged after I lost mm -hmm. and like I I really wanted to start watching it, but I think it was just like triggering because I was yeah. like, I don't know, I was like, oh, I can't relive this again. Like I felt <laughs> it was so fun like to come back and like uh, hang out with like everyone afterwards. And I think that ended up being like a good little like social thing anyways because i just wanted to hang out with everyone i wasn't yeah. really like oh like let's play survivor i wanted to do the challenges and hang out that was like what i was there for yeah. and ronan was like i really want you to do survivor and i was like okay he's like you have a good personality like you'll have like a you'll you'll be like a character and oh I was yeah like, for sure i guess yeah but i was like well i'm fucking told me to watch more survivor. he told me to watch survivor i didn't know that my whole like game would have depended on me knowing it so you like, definitely oh. were a great character though like great Thanks. cast for sure thank yeah. you we had a good cast yeah francois yeah. is my favorite watching francois <laughs> and how he's like i'm the greatest of all time yeah those are those, i kill for those moments he's just so funny he's such a character i think Fran francois as much as like he's just th obviously they painted him to be so arrogant but he's just i think he's the best character he's just so funny Wait, was he always like that like since you knew him because <laughs> you've known him a while yeah i've known him a while he but he's like he's still like a genuine guy like you yeah. know what i mean like if you cut your foot and he'd be the first one to like run to you and try to like tell you exactly how to fix it and everything you know yeah. um but like he's he's just he's just francois i love yeah. him <laughs> so what have you i guess this has been like two years ago was watching like are you two years ago was that do, do you feel the same as you did back then like what have you been up to what what was like seeing yourself like a time capsule of 2022 in 2024 yeah just like how how are you different now compared to when you played like two years ago um i feel like i've like calmed down a lot and like i'm not as like i'm not i don't identify as strongly with being like i don't know just like really like sassy and like unnecessarily like abrasive you know what i mean like i'm like trying um i feel like i'm a lot more gentle and um i don't feel like people need to like earn their way with me as much as i used to i was like oh you have to like get to know me to, to like even deserve to be around me like i don't have a, my ego my ego i've tried trying to kill it i just really don't i'm i don't have as much of a desire to seem so like hard to please and stuff like that like i'm because i'm really not like that and i think like yeah. i was doing that as like a self-defense 
mechanism because I don't like getting hurt by people and stuff like that. Um, not to, not that like I would want to hurt anyone first, but I just like I'd rather I, I've realized like okay if a new person walks into the room I can just be nice to them and they'll probably be nice to me too. I, yeah. I'm always yeah. thinking like the if a new person walks into the room they're the first thing they're thinking is oh I can't wait to just shoot Nyla in the face. <laughs> like I don't know why like that's just like how I felt for a long time. So now I'm like yeah, I feel that's like more open-minded and I I wish I was like this more when during the game because I feel like if I was nicer then um maybe people would have wanted to work with me more and maybe grant would have liked me but fuck grant i don't even care if he liked me but you know what i mean like <laughs> but if, if grant liked me then i wouldn't have been out so i guess i can right. get from that because <laughs> you know that ended up working against me a lot so yeah i feel like i um i've been i've calmed down a lot i because i was like going through some things at the time mm -hmm. when survivor was happening so i was just like you know, I think that's that I could really tell how much that showed and I was kind of like angry and everything. I'm just mm -hmm. like, I'm not angry anymore. Mm -hmm. So I want I'm I would be excited to do another season that would be less angry. Yeah. But I don't know, maybe things happen and then I don't end up changing. So <laughs> that was a really good answer. <laughs> for all look for everything, you're honestly one of the nicest people I've ever met. Uh, <laughs> to be completely like yeah. like you're it shows you do care about people and it means a lot and, you know also sign do you know who nara smith is you kind nara. of look like her i don't know who that is i'm just like realizing that she's like a huge tiktoker who like makes everything from scratch you look a lot like her you should look her oh. up i look her up yeah i like being told that and then comparing and then either yeah. being like, what the fuck i look nothing like her i'll be like okay, i see i think you do <laughs> uh but yeah thanks so much for joining you were a thanks great guest thank you I'll yeah, we'll see you guys around. Yeah, I go to the car. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. See y'all next time. Pew, pew. Boom, boom, boom. Choo, choo, choo.